栃野市ジョージア出身、松田部屋そう。Let's put the final timeline together. Last November, we saw our Georgian hero almost reduced to just one winning move. The left hand over the top. And that was with all the fighting faculties of his 35 year old frame. Lose anything else, and he'd likely free fall. On January day four, he lost his left shoulder to dislocation and the key winning weapon attached. The resultant pull out, dropping him down a tier. It's amazing he even turned up for March, Sumo Chairman Hagkaku said. I've known many a wrestler who wouldn't have done. Tochi lost 10 March bouts in Division 2, then missed the April tour. Only returning to in ring training on April 26th and virtually stripped of belief. What we've now learned from his coach, Casagano, is that the next two weeks were spent analyzing all that was left and whether any winning formula would emerge. I got him to try out various things, but whatever he tried would leave him in pain, Casagano yesterday said. That's when I felt it was over for him, and we'd know for sure by day five in May. Day two is the only bout this channel has, preceded by booming chants of Noshin from the Western fan contingent. Although it's not sumo etiquette, it was quite a moving moment. And the Georgian, who thrives on the love of the crowd, was dismayed he could not respond. By day four, he was feeling embarrassed, he said, to be showing this kind of sumo. It's an insult to the crowd, he added, his lower lip punctured by sinking teeth as the tears strove to pour out. Allied to his master's words on the first five days proving key, It seemed retirement was nigh. When he lost match five to Shimazu Umi, he was chased down by Nikan Sports, who strongly hinted he'd retire in their subsequent report. Pre meet, I never thought things could be this bad, Toji croaked in response to their questions. It's useless, I'm afraid. It's just not even sumo. That quote was his last while still active. On the night of day five, the ex Orzeki sat down with his coach and mooted walking away. He then trained as usual on Friday morning, chest lending to colleagues, before meeting with coach again and insisting he quit. By 1 pm, he was in the arena to convey his thoughts to the press. I thought I'd get past this injury too. It's a real shame that I didn't, he said. I approached this May with a view to getting through and soldiering on for two more years, but it just wasn't to be. Fighting on with this injury intimidates me. Having not naturalized as a Japanese, he will formally exit Sumo's doors 
but will likely return unofficially as a guest coach at his stable. He will also, say his friends, explore options to import Georgian products to the Japanese market. I like Japan and want to live here, Tochinoshin confirmed. I'll perhaps split my time between Georgia and here. His most memorable bout was the title winner against Shaw Horzan. His most influential foe he gave as Tamawashi, who he forgives for injuries inflicted. Tributes flooded his way from his stable colleagues. Ex-rivals Goido, Shodai and Mitake Umi, compatriot Gagamaru and the Georgian Embassy, Asano Yama, who credits Tochinoshin with shaping him, and, perhaps most pleasingly of all, from the sumo chairman himself. Tochi's mentor over the past 17 years, meanwhile, gave compliments thickly coated in gloss. In my 20 years of stable management, he's the strongest wrestler I've trained. And his mental strength was something else too. He's not one to moan, he'd rather just silently bear the pain. But it was clear that the damaged left shoulder had destroyed his game for good. Typical it was of the proud East European to tell Sumo's Twitter account that he owes his success to the fans. The shin of his fighting name refers to the Japanese heart that his master believed he'd adopt. Tochinoshin, so invested in that name, has pledged to live on with a heart that is pure. May that heart now find its desired relationship with Sumo and Japan.